Ruth? Sorry. You've been here all night? No, no, no. Uh, I couldn't sleep, so I came in early. What you need is a good book. I've been rereading Plato's Republic. I find I drop off almost immediately. Can't be that good, then. No, 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 no. It's wonderful. It still resonates today. The campus surgery is Plato's cave, and you and I are its prisoners trapped in a world of shadows until a ray of sunshine from the outside world brings us a glimpse of perfection. I'm giving a talk to some students this afternoon. Uh, I thought I'd do my paperwork here. I'll be in the staff room. OK. Once again, we are immersed in darkness. Oh, well. Any other captives on the rota? Michelle. Good. She'll brighten the place up a bit. Oh, wait, not so fast. You can't wear those. Why not? Well, they're backpacks. They're not good for your equipment, are they? Not till we've conceived. That's not safe to ride the bike without them. Yeah, but the bike's not great, though, anyway, is it? I mean, sitting on that saddle, it's all, um, very restrictive. Could you not take the car, maybe? You can't ban the bike. Bike's banned. I used to love me wearing my bike gear. I thought it was sexy. This isn't about being sexy, though, is it? This is about making a baby. Now, would you go and put something looser on, please? I'm popping out for a proper coffee. Does anyone want anything? Oh, I'd one, thanks. No, thanks. Ruth, are you OK? Yeah, thanks. Why? Well, I, I know I said we needed some space, but that doesn't mean you have to ignore me. We, we can still have a chat. I oh, know. Good. Well, just give me a shout when the coffee comes, yeah? Yeah, of course. Come in, Ruth. Nothing to be scared of. Yeah, it's about a patient. I noticed him on your list and I thought I should warn you. Student from hell, is he? Rancid piercings in intimate areas? <laughs> no, no, it's nothing like that. His name's Lance Bright and he had his sight restored at some films last year. Lance Bright? Uh, yes, did I read something about it? It, it, um, it wasn't an unusual procedure. Don't think so, but I think it was unusual for him to have been blind from so young for so long. It must have been um, 24 years. Uh, and then they switched the light on. A rare chance to analyse a shift in perception. He used to come to the doctors here before, but surgery went into meltdown and we sort of lost track. He's not been back till now. Right, um, I don't think there's much here. See what you can dig out, outpatient's letter especially. I'll get onto it now. You were quite simply peerless. <laughs> You rushed out, why? I'm, I'm running late. Will you go out with me? <laughs> you don't know me. Yeah, I, I don't need to. Would, would you go out with me? Well, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't know you. What are you looking at? Are you, are you all right? You should go. You don't want to be late. you back later. Oh, well, sorry, are you with the patient? No, I've just found this fab tool on the internet that works at your most fertile times. OK, well, why don't you see how it scores for this lunchtime and come and help me out of these boring clothes? No, today is definitely not peak time. I've worked that out already. And besides, I've got some shopping I need to do at lunch. Oh, don't mind me if you go shopping today. Don't shoes and bag shopping, Ronnie. Shopping for us. I was thinking about what you said this morning. And you're right, it is important to be sexy. So you're buying something sexy for us? I like the sound of that. And then why don't you meet me in the icon and I'll show you what to bought? Great. Look forward to it. 
Bye. Any sign of it yet? Well, oh, yes, the outpatient letter. No, they're, they're faxing it through. Well, they better hurry up. It's OK, cos it's not due to... Yeah, I'll chase them up now. Yes, I don't want to chivy you, Ruth, but I can't bluff my way through with a few half-remembered facts from the newspapers. Lance Bright is a landmark case. It's very important. I do hope I'm not a disappointment to you, Doctor. I'm just a normal seeing human being these days. You see, the very reason I wanted to be fully apprised was so that you wouldn't feel like a special case. So, so you wouldn't have to talk about it as an issue if you didn't think it was an issue. If you see what I mean. Well, I don't mind talking about it at all if it means you can help me. Well, that's what I'm here for. I was blinded in an accident at my dad's factory when I was eight. The accident killed my dad. It seemed kind of fitting the world went black. I missed him more than I missed seeing. So it took a while to getting around to trying a cornea transplant, and when we did, it didn't work. It must have been very distressing. Well, I stopped trying to get my sight back after that. You know, I got pretty good at being blind. I was happy. So what changed? And my mum died. And, you know, I realised I wasn't getting any younger. They kept telling me the technology was getting so much better, it was worth trying another transplant, so we did, and this time it worked. The miracles of modern medicine? Yeah. There was a bit of a fuss at the time. Ah, it's hardly surprising. But very annoying. All these stupid perception tests and doctors trying to make their names off this landmark case. I can imagine, yeah. See, luckily it all died down when they sussed I was just like everybody else. But now I need another little miracle. Hope I can oblige. See, I'm just like everybody else in the day, but at night I have so many images whizzing around my head. I can't switch off. You know, I can't sleep. Right. Now, have you tried... Everything. Trust me. Nothing works. You know, I was hoping you could give me something. OK, let's see how you get on with these. Thanks. You know, I think I need something stronger than most people to get me back to the kind of blackness that I'm used to. Mm, that would seem to make sense. Has anyone ever done a study on it? I'm happy to be your guinea pig, Dr Carter, as long as I can get some sleep. OK, we'll start you off on the lowest dose. And if that doesn't work, you can try two at a time. Yeah, I could. Couldn't I? Ruth, do you have any... Oh. I've been on hold for ages. What do you need? A4 envelopes, if you have some. Hello. Hi, hi, yeah. I'm here. Please don't ha hang up. Oh dear. Was it important? Just some fills. I can try later. Have you got your talk at lunch? This afternoon. Why? Did you want to come? Not really. Um, would you like to do something at lunch then? <laughs> what is it today? Am I suddenly irresistible? <laughs> no, no. I, oh, it, I just It's would. just that uh, this strange man came up to me. I think he was a bit, I don't know, odd. Yeah, I'm sorry if that's how it seemed. Don't worry. I won't bother you again. I didn't know you knew my patient. I don't. And I certainly didn't know he was listening. Oh, yes. Excellent hearing. The blindness can do that. He's blind? For most of his life, but he's uh, better now. Well, he was. Have you broken his heart, Lily? Not now, Heston. <laughs> Um, I... Please, wait. I didn't know... Know what? Anything about you. I, I shouldn't have made assumptions. I apologise. No, a man wouldn't have to be mad to ask you out, you know. But it would help. Let me get you lunch. I'm a doctor at the practice. You're a patient. It wouldn't be ethical. You know, it's so much easier to tell when a person's lying when you can see their eyes. Perhaps you wouldn't notice if you always seen, but for me... Well, that's another reason we can't go out. It wouldn't last very long if we couldn't lie to each other. <laughs> Please, just lunch. It would mean a lot to me. I can't. I'm sure I'll see you around. Are you going to lunch? Yeah. Can you order another batch of those two mil syringes, please? We're almost out. Of course. Off anywhere nice? Don't know yet. Is 
saying eggs, fish oil, and multivitamins. And these are sexy because? Because if we sort out our diet and lifestyle, we'll be in tip-top condition. Primed for conception, bursting with energy. Sperm production optimised. I need a drink. Oh, now make sure it's a pineapple juice because there's no more booze, coffee, ready meals or takeaways. Got to take this seriously, Ronnie. Oh, nearly forgot. Ta-da! Sarong, do you like it? Sexy. Exactly. Big Jim and the twins want some air swashing around them. It's your colour, don't you think? Going to lunch? Yes, thank you. On my own. Yes, I should read up on our friend anyway. Fascinating case, testament of our ability to adapt and grow. You think so? I thought he was a little sad. Ah, how well should he feel? You turned him down. No, no, he'll be fine. I sorted him out. Enjoy your reading. Yes, indeed. Ruth? Ruth! You don't have to wear it outside the house. Not unless you start to like it. Trust me, George. That's not going to happen. Well, Bracken won't tell anyone, probably. Can we talk about something else, please? Okay. Uh, what about baby names? Okay, as long as we can keep it sensible. What's that supposed to mean? It's just... There's a lot of good old boys' names coming back into fashion now. Hmm. But it's got to be something that matches with Bracken, hasn't it? Like Fern for a girl. Yeah, Fern's all right. Mm -hmm. Or not tweed for a boy. Please tell me you're kidding. No, I think Notweed's nice. Got a ring to it. Notweed Woodson. The son of mine is going to be called Notweed. Oh, all right. Well, you think of something then. It can't be Ronnie again. <laughs> Good afternoon, Ruth. Hello. Mind trouble? No, I'm just dropping off these um, envelopes you requested. You mustn't always think the worst. Sorry. From what I can tell, you're doing an excellent job at running the campus surgery smoothly. Thanks. It's nice of you to say. What are you reading? Oh, it's nothing. It's silly. There's nothing silly about romance. Although you're not going to meet Mr. Wright mooching around on a park bench in the cold. You have to socialise more. Mm. I'm no good at socialising. I don't really want a man, anyway. I'm happy as I am. Well, that's fine, if it's true. I don't mean to be rude, Vivian, but do you really think you're the best person to be giving me relationship advice? Yes, I do, Ruth. Because I know what it's like to be lonely. No problem. Uh, just uh, a black coffee, please. And uh, uh, a lunch menu. This has got to be fate, hasn't it? Unless you're following me. Am I that bad at lying? Why are you following me? Because you're beautiful. <laughs> the, I'll get this. Okay. Thought it was love at first sight with Lenny. Thought it was meant to be. Really lied to me. It made me look so stupid. Well, you can't let someone like that stop you from looking. It's never going to happen. People I already know don't want to know. I'm not going to find anyone else half decent round here. This is a university. The place must be teeming with eligible bachelors. They don't even notice me. I'm only interested in other students. Well, perhaps you should become a student yourself. You know, when I was choosing a driving theory course, there were all manner of evening classes at the local college. Can you give it a try? And then if you meet someone, you would have something in common to talk about. Yes, we would, wouldn't we? Hmm. I've heard about a bloke who teaches at a college across town. I could find out if he does evening classes. Mm -hmm. Right, you do that, Ruth. Thank you, Vivian. <laughs> I don't know if I'd use the word better. When you've adjusted to being blind, it doesn't feel like something's wrong. But surely it's better being able to see. Well, it is now. I had been a bit down. What about? It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. 
Stunning though I may be, I can't take responsibility for your turnaround. Why were you feeling down? So you're just worried we're going to have to talk about you now? No, I'm concerned as a doctor. Don't keep hiding behind that. I'm not. I am a doctor and I think there might be something wrong with you. Well, of course there's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with everyone. Except you. Will you please stop staring at me like that? I understand why you're doing it, but it's making me uncomfortable. No. No, there is something. There is something wrong with you, Lily. You know, you hide it well, but you're just like everybody else. You don't understand at all. You're ugly. Everything is so ugly. What did it say? The background on Lance Bright, did it mention depression? He's not depressed, is he? Oh, he's just raging at me, at the world. I don't think he wants to see any more. Well, he wants to be blind again. Or worse. What did you prescribe? Uh, the sleeping pills. Heston? What did his notes say? Well, I'm still waiting for them. And you just went ahead and prescribed anyway? Too fascinated to look for the signs? Do your job properly? Oh, that's not fair, Lily. He's your patient. Go around and see him before he takes those pills. W what if he won't see me? Then I suggest you think of something. Fast. Lily! It's not my fault! Any sign of uh, Lance's outpatient letter yet? Um, no, I couldn't get through. So you thought you'd spend all day dossing about on the internet, did you? Hmm? No, that's fine. It's only a request from silly old Heston. It's not like a patient's life is at stake. I'll call them now. No, don't bother! Call a temp agency and get someone with a sense of urgency. Get yourself an admin job, stack shelves, or better still, why don't you sign on? I'm sorry, I'll go. No, I'm gonna go and see Lance! Let's hope it's not too late! Stop the banging, please. Just leave me alone. It's Dr. Carter! I need to see you! You know what? I don't need to talk to you or anybody else. What? So come on, Ruth. What kind of trouble has Heston got himself into this time? The patient was depressed and he didn't notice. <laughs> My husband thinks that Sydney is a suitable name for a boy in the 21st century. Shall I send him back? They'll really freak him out. I don't know. Oh, I know. Mm. You don't have to see me, but we can still talk. I'm not talking to a man with a bag on his head. Are you smiling? You sound like you're smiling. Sorry, Doctor. You failed your perception test. Perhaps. You don't really want to kill yourself, do you, Lance? Come on. Help me understand. Nothing is like I remember. And in my head it was all so perfect. Every time I open my eyes it's such a letdown. I was happy as a blind man. I should have stayed that way in my own world. Because now there's no point. I 
But even the women, there's always some flaw. Lily. Yes? When I look closer, she's cold. That smile doesn't touch her eyes. She just studies you like something under a microscope. I think it's you who's looking too hard. I mean, of course you will, it's still new, but if you stop looking, you might actually see what people are really like, not just the mask that they hide behind. No. No, I saw that first, and then beneath, I saw the truth. I've known Lily many years, and I've not had that privilege. People wear many masks, they're all flawed. But don't give up on them, give them time. It's not until you start taking your sight for granted that something or someone beautiful will stand out for you. For me, a bow tie does it every time. This one brightened up a particularly dull day. And all I see is that it's slightly off center. Well, of course. It's one of my many flaws. And one day, the right person will love me for it. How can you go on like that? Hoping. I have a lot of bow ties. For you, I have the number of a first class counselor. Now, I know talking isn't a magic cure, but it must be better than these. I think it's just what you need, with you being here on your own. What do you mean? Well, didn't you tell me you were deeply affected by your father's death? And don't you think you'd be seeing things differently if your mother was still here? Lance, let me arrange the counselling. I haven't heard back from Ronnie in over an hour. It probably upset him. He didn't like mugwort. <laughs> so I sent one back saying, well, at least it's better than Ronnie. And ever since then, it's gone quiet. He's got to have known he was joking there, eh? Hey? Lance's letter, Dr. Carter. Sorry, he's late. Is he all right now, your patient? Oh, he will be. And thank you for filling in here. And uh, thank you for not walking out when I had my little tantrum. I am terribly sorry. It was my fault. No, 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 it was your lunch and you should be commended for following in the great tradition of autodidacticism. Self-directed learning. Are you doing an evening class, Ruth? Vivian thinks it might help me find Mr. Wright. Oh. Why not philosophy? Or wrestle with the meaning of life. She's not going to get a good snog in a philosophy class. Mechanics is your best bet. Or welding. Actually, I thought I might do art. Bad choice. Probably all women. No, 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 no. Follow your passion, Ruth, and then people will be drawn to your light. Besides, there could be a male model in the life drawing class. Well, Heston, uh, do you mind if I shoot off early? It's just I've got some major sucking up to be doing. Of course. Off you pop. Hi there. Um, I'm calling about the art evening classes. Are there any spaces left? Great. <laughs> I was hoping to get home first so that I could make us some dinner as a kind of a... Sorry for the name thing. It was just meant to be a bit of fun. Fun? This is no time for fun, George. We're trying to make a baby. We're not making jokes or nice dinners or conversation or... Love. Perish the thought. We're giving everything up for this. The least you could do is take it seriously. Something funny. I've never told you this, but I do find men in skirts very sexy. You know, togas, kilts, and now it would appear sarongs also. Sexiness is irrelevant. I beg to differ. No, 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 no. Hands off. It's not your peak time. Oh, come on. We can practice, can't we? I've not had my fish oil. Oh, it's such a fish oil. Can you stay in the 
I, to you? I can't work up the energy to move. Unless you want to go for a drink. I know what I said earlier, but it'd be good to have a proper gas. Can't. Sorry, I've got to go and enrol on an evening class. Oh, I didn't know. Well, like you said, I need to do more stuff on my own. You don't mind, do you? You doing this? It seem a bit funny. No, no, I think it's a great idea. It's just what you need. Yeah, I think so. Right then. until the temp is officially late. I'm sorry, I'm on my way to work. What do you want? Your husband is the father of my child. Well, perhaps you better keep your coat on because any more back chat and you won't be stopping. It's time that Kate found out what a snake that can be. Quincy actor Jack Lugman makes a guest appearance in Diagnosis Murder next this afternoon on BBC One Scotland.